You're watching EVH Gear TV. Official Van Halen merchandise for EVH Gear TV is provided by VanHalenStore.com. Now, here's your host from Ontario, Canada, EVH Gear artist Eric Broadbent. Hey everyone and welcome to a Wednesday edition of EVH Gear TV. I hope everyone is doing well. Middle of the week, we're almost to the weekend. A couple more days to go and it's showtime, regular showtime, Friday night. Actually, I should tell you this, uh, Friday nights can be a little earlier, one hour earlier, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm having uh, Jim Clark from ProRockGuitar.com on the show, uh, England time zone. So we're just trying to accommodate a little bit of that difference in the time zone. I know one hour is not a lot different for him. But it just saves us going live 5 or 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time here. Uh, and he's a trooper, and he's agreed to uh, to do it at 8, 8 p.m. our time. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I get really looking forward to having him on. Uh, a big Eddie Van Halen fan, a guitar instructor like a lot of the previous guests I've had on, a lot of guitar instruction. Um, we'll talk about, you know, you know, learning Van Halen riffs and things like that and, you know, just chasing that brown sound and all kinds of goodies, lots of good stuff. So just a reminder, 8 p.m., I'd hate to have someone tune in an hour late and, and miss a bulk of the show. So 8 p.m. this Friday, looking forward to that. A few people jumping in the chat. I'm going to go over and say hi to those guys. Uh, um, a lot of regulars I can see right away, so it's very, very nice. I hope everyone's been having a good work week. Here in Ontario, Canada, we had a bit of a nice day to start today, uh, and then we got into a lot of rain. I'm seeing a lot of my friends on Facebook talking about rain in their parts of the of the world as well, too. And we haven't been too bad. This is our first rain for a bit, but a couple weeks back we had so much that we had a lot of flooding in the rural communities around here, and it was getting very, um, very uh, scary as far as like crops getting lost and things like that as well. So I'm going to jump over and say hi to uh, the guests over in the chat, and also just wanted to say tonight, really the whole um, uh, concept of the of the show this evening. It's just a, a brief broadcast. Um, a couple, a few different contests that are going on. Some things I'm giving away on top of the usual things that you've you've know about. And uh, what else? Uh, new merchandise. Got some new merchandise as well too. So we're going to get into that in just a second. So let's jump right over to the chat. I appreciate everyone tuning in on this Wednesday evening. Um, Mystic Star. That's Will Dunham. He says hi, Eric. Uh, Mystic Star says I made it. Darren Moore. Uh, he says between getting my pedal snake, a new EVH 412, and now uh, EVH Gear TV merch, I'm going to be broke for a while. I really can't wait for you to hear about the. I, I can't wait to hear about your pedal snake once you get it. I know um, Darren's been working with Jody at uh, at pedal snake. He's done the questionnaire and all that kind of stuff to figure out exactly what he needs. And um, I think you're going to find just like uh, my show guest I had last week. I had Gustavo Gonzalez from Florida. He came on the show and was um, unboxing his new Wolfgang, and he was also got his pedal snake all hooked up. And he has a very, very similar custom snake to what I have, um, and it was very, very cool. He was showing people how to hook it up and that kind of stuff. So, so Darren, I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I guess what my point was there is to hear your um, post sales, um, you know, experience with Jody. He's been really, really good. I'm sure with you up to this point, and I know he'll help you out greatly after the fact too. Really, really cool. So Quentin James says, hey, y'all. And speaking of Quentin James, this, this special place with my pick collection. I know little Eric's going to fight me for it. We'll share it. But he likes guitar picks as well, too. So thank you, Quentin. I really appreciate that. That was cool. Uh, he said he had something on its way to me. Pause right there for a second. Got a nice little letter in the mail today that contained a special Quentin James guitar pick. See if I can put that up a little closer. Quentin James official guitar pick. All right, that, that's going to go in a special place with my pick collection. I know little Eric's going to fight me for it. We'll share it. But he likes guitar picks as well, too. So thank you, Quentin. I really appreciate that. That was cool. Uh, he said he had something on its way to me, so I appreciate that. It's nice to collect picks for sure. Love them. Love them. Uh, let's go back a little bit because I know I missed a couple people. Um, Peter Schaefer saying hello all. Gabe Granado. Hey, Gabe. Nice to see you. Um, Gary Davlin's running. Cutter Savage. What's up, everyone? A couple people I'm recognizing names right now. There are uh, some entries in the guitar contest submission, which is this guitar right here, the Mystic Blue uh, Metallic Wolfgang Standard. So if somebody's going to win this guitar. It's You know what? I, I want it to go because... The more it sits here, the more I want to take it out of the box and play it. And I'm not going to do that. It's, I'm telling you, when you saw um, me on the show a while back when I took it out of the box, that's the only time it's been touched by my hands. And uh, I've wanted to dig into that box, but I haven't. Everything's original, but the longer it sits here, the more I want to play it. So contest is going to be ending soon. June 7th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when the uh, contest is over. So we'll, we'll touch base on that contest along with some other stuff in here in just a moment as well, too. But I recognize these names as uh, entrants from the uh, from the uh, contest, so very very cool. 
Um, how's everything sound? Everything sounding okay, by the way, because in the new uh, road gear, really, really enjoying it. The big hats off to road. Um, I really feel comfortable in the zone here with the audio quality. Now it's, uh, they've really, um, really honed it in for me. Uh, let me see here. Card 2565 says evening. Cutter Savage, I think I said. Uh, Frank McNeil says hello, everyone. Uh, Sinner's joining in. Hey, Sinner, good to see you. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Insomniac Matt says, I just um, finished playing guitar about 15 minutes ago. Tried playing Master of Puppets and downpicking. Got uh, three and a half minutes in. Now my wrist hurts. Yeah, that's Metallica. I can do that to you for sure. Hey, Poison Ivy, my beautiful better half, is joining. Says, good evening, folks. Uh, Mystic Star, hi, Ivy. Uh, Brian Watson, what's up, Eric? These shows make my day. I appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. That's That comment like that um, makes everything I do. 100% worth it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, sincere thanks. Uh, Quentin James is saying, hey, Poison. And let me see here. I scrolled a little too fast, uh, like I always do. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Bruce is joining. Um, hi, Eric. Is this a surprise cast? Yeah, kind of a surprise one. Fridays are my regular ones, and there's going to be some weeks where I'm not going to do anything other than a Friday. But if there's something that comes up, uh, I, I might do some more live jams or some live reviews and things like that. This one's just more just instead of putting out a Facebook post, I thought I'd, you know, say hi to my friends and then tell you a little bit about what's going on at the same time. Um, Kit Ramsey says, uh, just got done jamming on the Kemper. Uh, let me see here. I think I just got a message that Robert Baker is in the chat as well, too. Hey, buddy. I was talking to Robert earlier, and Robert, I'm mad at you. I'm really mad at you because he teased me once again. He sends me a picture on Facebook. Look what I'm doing. He, and he's going to McDonald's um, with, through the all-day breakfast and getting breakfast burritos. This was like about 6, six o'clock. And I can't, in Canada, we have the all-day breakfast at McDonald's, too. And we can't get the breakfast burrito. It actually says breakfast burrito on the wrapper but it's not part of the breakfast menu in Canada. I'm very upset about that because that's my favorite breakfast at McDonald's. Um, so I'm mad about that. And he always has to tease me. So I said to him, I'm going to get you back. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm going to get you back. Uh, you know, I might just be cheaper to get you to get me some and to send them across the lake. We're not too far across the lake from on Lake Erie, uh, but I'm going to go back. I know I jumped ahead and uh, I mentioned Robert and I got a few other people to mention as well too, but I am still mad at you, Robert, in a good way. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. And by the way, you know what? Let's pause right there for a second. Huge congrats. Congrats to the max and back a hundred times over. Um, Robert just hit a hundred thousand subscribers on his, on his YouTube channel a couple nights back. And, uh, that is really insanely awesome. Very, very proud of you. And I told Robert tonight, again, we had a quick Skype call. I was just bouncing some ideas off of him and things like that. And actually, Robert's actually contributing to something. I won't say what it is yet. He's contributing to something I'm doing. It's going to be um, a really, really cool project um, video-wise. And it's featuring him and some other celebrities around the world. Um, I can't wait to bring this to you. It's the biggest thing I've worked on in a while. It might be live as early as next week. But I was talking to him. And uh, what was my point with that? Telling him exactly how proud I was of his accomplishment at 100,000 subs. And that he is a inspiration to me on this channel. There's a few people. Um, I'll just toss out some credits to you right now. Robert is a big one for sure. Our mutual friend Henning Pauly um, is, uh, is a huge uh, Heitch P42. I, I think I said the Heitch part right. Heitch. Um, a great influence, uh, met him at NAM, and he's a mutual friend of both um, Robert and I. Huge inspiration. Uh, uh, Jay Parmer, another inspiration Why, when it comes to YouTube. Uh, and then there's a bunch of people that aren't music guys on YouTube, like the uh, Roberto Blake, another one I talked about, Scott Kelby, photographer. Um, he's not necessarily more YouTube, but he's, he still does casting and stuff like that with um, uh, The Grid uh, and stuff like that. Really, really cool. And there's a lot of the things that I watch with the boy uh, that are big inspirations with me as well, too. A lot of these YouTubers. So I just want to acknowledge people that um, that have, you know, really inspired me. So there again, congrats. Um, and Kit Ramsey says, uh, I just got jam jamming on the Kemper. Trip Machine, speaking of Gustavo Gonzalez, uh, good to see you, buddy. He said, Eric, nice to see you again. You too as well, buddy. Uh, that was great to have you unbox the uh, guitar last week. And it looked nice. I had a lot of people really excited about it. Uh, let me see here. Quentin James says score. Uh, Bruce is saying, Hey, poison and, and everyone. Um, okay. This is good. Darren Morris says, Hey, Eric Jody says that his pedal snake is very similar to mine. 
Very, very cool. Yeah, we have very similar rigs. The only thing that really vary, uh, that varies are our pedals. And of course, we have a lot of the similar EVH line pedals and things like that. And everyone has their preferences with delays and reverbs and distortions if you're using them, things like that. But really, the concept of the pedal board doesn't change that much. You get ins, outs, um, into the amp, uh, loops, things like that. So there isn't a lot of difference. So that's very, very cool. I can't wait to hear how you like it. Mike uh, Ray is joining, giving us a piece. Uh, Quentin James, you're welcome for the pick. I really appreciate that. And like like Quentin did, he was listening one day when I was saying if you want anyone wants to send me stuff to, I didn't unbox it on the air because it was just a letter, um, I, you know, and, and you know it would mean a lot to me. But for some people to sit there and watch me open a letter, unless I did it with a bunch of other ones, you know, they might, you know, like the wow factor might not be there for taking your time out to come and watch. So um, if anyone wants to send something, send it to send me an email to fan mail. Uh, just like it sounds, F-A-N-M-A-I-L at EVHgeardiscussion.com. And I'll give you my post office box. Send you that. You can send me stuff and I'll unbox it. Very, very cool. Um, just keep it legal and, uh, you know, all good stuff like that. Uh, let me see Poison saying, I uh, hated Bruce. Um, and Kit Ramsey says, anyone else in this chat under 30? I think there's probably a couple, especially if my Bane Rocks jumps in. Uh, let me see here. It, uh, Mystic Star says, is the show on? Uh, unless I've lost a connection, hopefully we're still good. Um, so Will says he's not getting it. Maybe it, maybe it's just a delay. Hopefully everything's good. Uh, I scrolled a little too, too fast once again. I'm going to try to get down to the bottom of the chat, and then I'm going to jump into some of these uh, little contests and things I'm doing as well too. So bear with me here. Uh, let me see here. Timothy Pierce is saying hello, everyone. Um, and Bruce says, beautiful guitar with the magic neck. Yeah, if you're talking about the, the blue one, it is. I've held a lot of Wolfgangs, uh, American, Indonesian, Mexican, uh, everywhere in between. And this one, even though it's the Indonesian one, had a beautiful, beautiful, just ever so soft neck. Really, really nice. Uh, very nice. Uh, Robert Baker, now as, as I talked to you earlier, saying, what's up, everyone? We really appreciate uh, you joining in, Robert. Appreciate that. Uh, Frank C says, good evening, everyone. Um, okay, and Darren Moore is giving some advice to Mystic Star um, to make sure he's seeing everything. It looks like, it looks like we're good. And Quentin James' audio, uh, good video, good. Uh, yeah, and I'm getting uh, from my producer, getting a text message as well, saying everything is good. Awesome. Okay, so Gary Davlin, Mr. BH, that's Bruce. Uh, Timothy Pierce, uh, yes, the sound is great. I appreciate that. Uh, Robert saying hi, has hellos to some uh, some of the fans. Dan Wilhite, hey, Dan, how you doing? Uh, good to see you. Um, okay, Darren's giving some tips there. Um and uh, uh, Gustavo from Trip Machine says, last Sunday I had one of my best experiences with uh, using my pedal snake and my new Wolfgang. It was just amazing. You know, that's one of the things to talk about on the show. The pedal snake will really clean up your sound, really, really clean up your sound. It's to the point now where I don't have to use my noise suppressor, any, any kind of noise suppression whatsoever. And I look at it in a way like this. You know, let's say, let's say you get headaches, right? And uh, you have a headache, so you go take your, your Advil or your Tylenol or whatever, Motrin or whatever it is that you take for, for headache relief. And then the next day you have a headache, you do you repeat the same procedure. Next day you think you have a headache and you don't, and you just go take that, that pain relief because you think you have a headache. That's what it was like for me after I've got my rig so quiet. I was going to still step on my noise suppressor because I've been doing it for the past 15 years that I thought I had to. And uh, I don't have to do it anymore. So that means it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. It's a good thing because it's going to free up a pedal slot on my board. But it also means I'm going to have to replace with another pedal because I can't have a hole in my board now. So I don't know. Am, am, I, am I happy or am I upset, Jody? You just cost me another pedal I have to add in its place. I guess if I, if I sell it and then I just swap, I guess I'm not really out anything. I guess we could do it like that. But uh, it's really, really cool. So Gustavo had a really good experience. I'm happy to uh, to hear that. Okay, Mystic Star is back. He says he's here. Rockbiter, um, uh, evening, Eric. Join an acoustic band. Uh, we'll get the VH in there. Haha, <laughs> good. I'm glad to hear that. Keep me posted on uh, um, how the band's doing, and well, you know, if you're just jamming, if you're playing out, whatever, and maybe I'll try to share and promote uh, anything that you're doing. I'd be more than happy to help. Uh, Robert Baker, all about them damn breakfast burritos. Yeah, I'm, I know. I gotta have one. I want one bad. I have a meeting in the city tomorrow, but it's uh. Probably not. It's going to be past the breakfast hour, and I won't be able to get it. I would love a, uh, a breakfast burrito. Um, let me see. Uh, Lyle Ketchum says he's late. What did I miss? You didn't really miss anything. Just saying hello to everybody, so I'll say hello to you as well, Lyle, so we didn't miss anything. Um, and Quentin James says Robert with tabs. Yep, yeah, Robert definitely has the tabs. Um, 
There you go. All right. Robert says, ha ha, Nam, you can get your revenge. All right. We'll, we'll see. I'll get you to come over here sometime. Come over, visit over here, and we'll have some Amer uh, some Canadian beers. Let's do that. We'll get I'll get my revenge on you. There you go. Uh, Gary Davlin says, congrats. Uh, Robert rocks. Uh, let me see here. A um, lot of congrats to Robert. That's for sure. That, that's awesome. That, that's a huge thing. And that's so far away from me. Uh, 100,000. You know, that's incredible. I, I can't even fathom that number you know, we're, we're talking about that as well too uh you know early growth from from the little humble beginnings to where he is now and uh you know that kind of stuff it's pretty awesome center says uh i'm not sure what that means i my my slang i'm not sure what that is uh, sean tubbs sean tubbs hey buddy how is it going um and sean i was talking to our friend the other day that we we both idolize and i was telling him about um um, your props to him. I think you know who I mean, the, the, our Canadian friend. And um, he was uh, honored to hear that as well, your kind words about him. And I'm sure he's going to be uh, in touch with either you or our other mutual friend as well very soon too. So I'm very honored to have you uh, joining. Great. Uh, talk about some shredding, man. Um, let me see here. Trip Machine says, I can't believe how good a cable, how big a cable makes a difference on the 5153 Tone. I'm a new, okay, sounds amazing. Just upgraded with the Futone Big Block. Everything works, right? Everything, every little bit of improvement works. Like just with me, with guitar cables here, pedal snake obviously number one, but guitar from guitar to the to the board, um, using the um, uh, the Planet Waves cables uh, that Rob had sent me, absolutely love them. And I know it sounds silly, but we talked about this. Uh, Jay Palmer posted a really good video. I shared it on um, the EVH Gear um, TV Facebook page. It was a, a sources of inspiration. And um, I watched it. It was a great Jay. Jay is when you want to talk about inspiration. <clears throat> excuse me, pardon me. Um, Jay is a very ins inspir inspiring person. And I said to him, I commented in one of his friends' comments on YouTube, and I said, you know, it may sound silly, and it does sound silly, but it's very, very true. Inspiration can come from anything, not necessarily like outside of music, but inside music, a brand of guitar picks or even a cable, L little, little, tiny things like that. It doesn't matter what it is that inspires you. Just recognize it and roll with it. Um, but uh, yes, I agree with uh, that's my long version uh, echoing what Gustavo is saying is that it's inspiring and uh, I really, uh, really love that. Um, and I was I was live that night. Lyle Ketchum is saying I was there when Rob hit that mark. He here's to 100,000 more. I think I was just wrapping up live and uh, Poison sent me a text message said um, Rob had just hit the milestone. Now, what was that? That was with. Was that on the Friday show? I think it was on Friday. So yeah, I got the text message and I stopped what I was doing at that moment because I really wanted to um, to recognize that milestone. That's huge. That's like you know almost like when there's a, a presidential election or, or or you know prime minister here in Canada, or whatever. You know the buzz goes all around the world. That's what it was like on the internet that night. Everyone was stopping what they're doing. And Robert Baker hit a hundred thousand. Pretty awesome. I, I love I love that. Uh, let me see here. So Brian is saying he's twenty four. So I think he was asking earlier if anyone was under thirty. Uh, let me see here. So Quentin James says, I had pics made with my name years ago. Just thought it'd be funny to send Eric as he know, has no idea who I am. Oh, I know who you are. And it's it's cool. I appreciate it. I like that. Uh, let me see here. Okay. So Trip Machine says, Gustavo, I'll call him Gustavo, says, what do I have to do to win that Wolfgang? Eric, can you explain the steps? Yes, I'll go into that just in a moment. I'm going to try to jump down to the bottom of the chat here as quick as possible. 36 people watching. I really appreciate that. And 13 thumbs up. Very, very nice for a Thursday or a Wednesday. I don't even know my day of the week. Um, and it was not really planned. Planned. So I'll get to the, the contest in just a second. I'm going to have a few contests here. I'm going to tell you about a bunch of things and some other giveaways just because I want to give some stuff away. Um uh, let me see here. <clears throat> Max Reverse or Max Reverse has any thoughts on the Japanese EVH? Is for if you're asking my opinion on it, I absolutely love it. I was playing my uh, Made in Japan's uh, Cream Special today. I've got it fully hopped up with Futon stuff, and uh, to, to be honest with you, I, I I love it. I keep flip flopping back and forth on all these favorite guitars. As soon as I say this is my favorite guitar, I go to this one. No, this is not my favorite. Right now, the guitar that's getting played a lot, a lot, a lot in the house is the uh, the black and white EVH Stripe series, just because it's the last one I futoned, and uh, there's something about it. I did the full futone on that one, the, everything from the uh, the stainless steel to the titanium to the block to the noise the noise of springs, everything, and uh, it's 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 incredible. But uh, I flip flopping back a lot. Uh, let me see here. So card says, unfortunately, no stores around me have a Wolfgang special I can try out. How does the net compare to the PV Wolfgang special? 
a little different. You're going to find a lot of differences between the Wolfgangs, going from the Wolfgang Special to the standard. Um, the PV, the PVs are more of a, I don't want to say like a baseball bat shape, like a bigger C, whatever. But there are a little, there's more substance, there's more chunk to them. Um, you find a close proximity with the Wolfgang Specials, and then you get into the standards. I find like I have fairly large hands, and on the Wolfgang Standard, I strangle that thing like a broom handle. On the, on the special, it's a little bit wider, um, and it's nice. I like to have, I don't like to have a million guitars the exact same thing because it just feels like you're just switching guitars to have a different color. So I do like to have the variances in the guitars like that. Um, so it's a little different than the PV though. Um, and I guess that's kind of a bummer too if you don't have a store nearby to try it. Uh, it's 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 a bummer, but I do I do give you my my opinion. I guess I would say that you can't go wrong with anything from the from the EVH line, from the standard to the Mexican to the oh, which is a special to their US and even the US customs for sure. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let's go back. I know I missed a couple. I'm really bad at that. Let me see here. Uh, let me see here. So Quentin James says Louisville, Kentucky. Joseph Burt. Okay, Mystic Stars rocking and rolling uh, with everything's awesome. He says, and um, okay, so Rockbiter says it's an unplugged type band. Would appreciate any support. Yeah, I'd be more than happy to help you. You and I are friends on Facebook, so send me what you're doing when you're doing it, and I'll be more than happy to uh, to try to get you some uh, some recognition. You know, any little bit helps. Oh, uh, Neil Bambury. Um, anyone tried Joyo products with EVH amps? Brought, bought the uh, PXL live and was wondering how I should run uh, MIDI through my 50 watt. I haven't. Uh, maybe if Robert Baker's still in here, if he may have already answered that, he might be a better um, source on that. I I haven't, so I can't give you an honest answer. It's one thing I will. You guys will always come to know. If I don't know the answer on the show, I'm not going to make some kind of crazy statement to that you know some kind of flux capacitor answer I don't know so I'd rather pass it off to someone who's more knowledgeable than me in the chat and hopefully we'll get an answer then I'll learn something too uh, let me see here uh, Sean Tubbs right on man thanks for having me and Sean I want to have you back again um, at your at your convenience whenever it works out for you and we'll get more into the guitar um, one thing we didn't really get a chance to look at too too much was your guitar collection and, and we'll get all those ready and we'll, sh we'll basically just look at the guitar gear for the night maybe have one of your pedal uh, your fly rig out or something like that and show what you got for a fly rig I know what it is but a lot of people haven't seen it on the show and we'll look at some of your guitars that'd be awesome just, just kind of a uh, show and tell kind of uh, show that'd be fun because we had lots of Eddie Van Halen discussion. That was a good one uh, for sure. Uh, let me see here. And I mean, this is good. I really appreciate this. Uh, Marshall MG Man says, just recently subscribed and haven't missed a stream or video yet. Getting a 5150 was the best tone decision I've made for my band. Cool. And, and I'd like to hear what your band thinks about it too. It's nice when we get excited for a piece of gear that we bring to a band, whatever. But it's I think it's even more exciting. I remember back in the day when I was with the band still too. And, uh, you know, I'd be really excited about it. And I bring it to the band and they're like, oh, this is really helping us in this certain way. And it's nice when your band members who aren't the guitar players, you know, whether it's a singer or the drummer even saying, oh, it really fits. It really fits nice in the mix. Then you really get excited because not only are you loving it, you've got your 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 pals, your bandmates um, feeling like it's contributing to the team. So that's very, very cool. I hope I hope they enjoy it as well, too. So good stuff. And thanks for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate that. Uh, Timothy Pierce is one of the best next I play was Ernie Ball Music Man I played one at NAMM when they came out and again a few years ago awesome guitars I like them too and I never did get a chance to own one of those back when they first came out they were insanely expensive now they're still rel relatively expensive they come down for a while and then now with the uh, supply and demand well I mean there's no supply basically there's no new supply uh, for for the most part in the signature series there's none um, you have to get what you can and people can kind of d demand their own price but one day one day if, uh, if something finds me when I'm not looking for it falls in my lap then I will certainly take it uh, let me see Sean says he was just on a gig today with another guitar player and both of us were using Planet Waves cables they're good stuff nice to hear good stuff uh, I love them I love them a lot um, I was using uh, straight to straight and then Rob sent me um, uh, a straight to right angle because I was really I was noticing with my idea bench my fastback pedal board I have um, I actually have a jack at the side of the board and I can plug my guitar cable right into that that's my input and I was just thinking, you know what? I have a feeling that if I step one of these days not paying attention, I'm going to snap that jack in half. And uh, so a right angle butts right up nice to it, so there's no chance of that. So, But I love them. They're great cables. They coil nice. I like cables that coil nice and don't knot. Even though when I'm done using them, I, I professionally wrap them you know, the right way instead of turning them over your elbow and tying them into a knot. So uh, very, very cool. So good to hear, Sean. 
uh, almost almost down to the uh, bottom. Uh, let me see here. And as soon as I get to the bottom, I know it's going to jump again. Um, a couple other people were to get on. Let me see here. Uh, bear with me here. Uh, Timothy Pierce, these dreams are great, right? That's what Bruce is saying. Um, uh, and Mystic Star saying, or a stain job and some nice binding. And MB2215 says, I'm late. Don't worry. No, there's no there's no penalty for being late here. And I don't think there's any prize for being first either. There's just, it's nice when you get a you know a front row seat, whatever. But the nice thing is you can always go back and, and uh, rewatch. And the cool thing is I'm just honored to have you guys. So even if you come in the last three seconds before I say thank you, good night. I'm thrilled to have you. Just I got to see you. Um, say hi, and that's that's all that matters to me is I got to see you guys. Um, and and then you can go back and rewatch it again too. It's just nice to know I've got the support. And judging by the amount of people that are watching right now, the numbers are increasing as I speak. I'm very very thrilled. I'm very happy. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to be your warm up for the rest of the week to go into the weekend. Instead of me saying I'm be trying to be your warm up band for Friday night, I'm just trying to get you through to Friday, and then we're gonna have some fun Friday night. Gonna have to have some serious guitar stuff on Friday. Okay, where am I at? Uh, let me see here. No worries about being late. So Insomniac is 25. It's cool. It's cool in 26 in August. That's cool to see some of the uh, age ranges here on the show. I'm I'm a little bit older than 25. I'm I almost double that. So we'll we'll say that. Uh, <laughs> uh, Gustavo says thank you, Eric. I'm very excited to be in this contest. Timothy Pierce says yes, they are, Bruce. Um, uh, Insomniac says uh, Insomniac. Uh, pr- pr- Pardon my pronunciation. My three favorite guitar sh- uh, shapes are Explorer, SG, and Strat, Super Strat. I'm enjoying the boys' uh, SG he has upstairs. He's got a really nice one of the, the highest-end Epiphone ones. Um, I forget what they call it. If it's this, I forget, a, a SG Pro, I think it's called, something like that. I love the guitar. When he asked me to go up into his room and he's jamming on keyboard, I grab that right away. The funny thing is his strap is really short, so when I put the guitar on it, I feel like I'm wearing a necklace. But it's, I still play it nonetheless. That's great. I don't bother adjusting a strap because then I have to adjust it back for him and everything. But I love the guitar. Uh, no problem. It's Sean says, got to run. You're the man, Eric. Congrats, Robert. I appreciate that, Sean. Thank you so much. Tactical Six String uh, is joining. And uh, he put in a really cool submission for the guitar contest, which we're going to get to in a moment. I appreciate the kind words that you said on the um, on the video submission you did. That's very, very cool. Uh, we'll be talking about some of those uh, submissions in just a moment. Uh, Brian Watson says, I ordered my Futon Big Block last night for my Black and White Stripe series. I just got ready to see what all the hype is about. Great. Um, I'm very anxious to see. What I'd like to see you do, if you could do this, don't, you don't have to shoot a professional video, but stick your phone on a, on a little leanly phone up against something while you're doing it, uh, or maybe even just when you, go, when you put it all back together and the first time you hit a chord, film yourself. And I'd like to see that. I'd just like to see the expression because there's, there's no hiding that. If you don't like it, your, the expression will show you, but if you do like it, your expression is going to show you as well too. Because when I did my black and white uh, stripe series guitar, I've had the food. I've said this before. It's not my first Futon rodeo. I've done so many guitars with Futon product that you would think the novelty would wear off. Uh, it doesn't. The novelty doesn't wear off. You keep getting that that little goosebump feeling every time you do that. And I really had it. Really hit home with the black and white stripe guitar. And I had a buddy here, an old high school friend, Rob Ashby, and he saw it firsthand. So even if you don't want to believe me, you can go back and watch the video. And he he says what ha- what I was like. He says I was like a kid in a candy store, and I lit up and I had goosebumps. It was really funny. It's very very cool. But we all get that feeling again and again and again. I don't think that'll ever wear off. You'll love your guitar. You'll love your guitar now. You'll love it to death after you futon it. Uh, let me see here. So got, that's good, good. Uh, let me see here. I think I'm going to, this is uh, Gustavo said, I think I'm going to sell my black and white stripe series. Um, a- anyone need a new one? Uh, that'd be really cool if you saw that one. And anyone that wants to get a deal from him, talk to Gustavo. I'm sure he'll um, he'll find a way to get in touch with you. Um, probably get a decent price on it. And it's a good guitar. They're nice guitars. Um and uh, the, see the thing with that, with the Stripe Series guitars, if you're trying to be like, if you're trying to lay low in the band, um, some of the Stripe guitars can be, you know, they might not be your guitars because uh, if you play one of those things and people are like, okay, this here comes a Van Halen guy, and they almost judge you before you start playing. So maybe that's maybe why Gustavo was selling. He's got a lot of nice the the Wolfgangs that are the solid colors, and you can kind of hide behind those ones a little bit, still be a monster guitar player, but not have to prove anything because you're playing a Stripe guitar. That's what I find with some of those. But long story short, maybe uh, I can get a deal from Gustavo. That'd be great. <clears throat> and uh, Darren is saying, uh, Darren Moore says, the EVH Star Guitar has the most unique feel of the EVH guitars. Um, it's almost Gibson-like, but still plays amazing. Excuse me, I have a very dry throat. Darren was just telling me on Facebook just before the show, I think he said he put the um, and the Daddario NYXL strings on the stripe and really uh, played nice. 
you know, I love that guitar. I played it over at uh, Motor City Music in Detroit. And I love the guitar, but I, I found myself really needing a, a, the reach for those up, upper frets. I guess you don't always have to play at the upper registry. I just ran out of room. It's almost like you're driving down the road, and then you get to that you get to a dead end. That's where I got with the upper upper uh, registry, like the 21st, 22nd fret, a little tight. But Darren seems to play that guitar very, very well. I find people that own the guitar love it. I just don't. I don't own that one yet. Um, I'm not sure if that one's going to be on my list or not. It's a very cool looking guitar and does play nice. Very, very cool. Uh, so Poison Ivy is saying evening to some of the other fans and friends and tactical six string. Uh, that's, uh, Bruce is saying hi to him. Um, let me see here. My favorite, uh, this is from Timothy he says my favorite guitars now are the 80 Charvel DiMarzio Mutt with the Wolfgang and, and the bridge and EVH pot. The other one is my Zion Radi- Radicaster, Radicaster with the DiMarzio Evo set. Very nice. Card says, uh, let me see. Thanks for the info, Matt. Any army drab will be ordered tomorrow. I must have missed something on that. If you're talking about the army drab, um, Wolfgang, I like that guitar a lot. Uh, good friend Sam Alvarado, he has that one, uh, as do a lot of us. You know, a lot of us out there, not myself. Um, I like that one a lot. I think that'd be very, very cool. Uh, let me see here. Uh, tactical six string things are well. I've got jury duty this week. Been interesting. Yeah, jury duty can be a real pain in the butt. Hopefully, it doesn't last too long for you. Uh, let me see here. Where did I uh, <clears throat> back up a little bit? Sometimes you scroll and then it jumps uh, uh, drastically. Um, Cutter Savage is talking about Darren. Says, Darren, that guitar sounds great in your hands, brother. Um, and Dan Wilhite, Dan Wilhite says, there's not an EVH dealer in my state. Closest dealer is three to five hours away. That's a drag. That's a drag for sure. Um, Darren Morris appreciating the kind words. Uh, let me see here. Let me see here. Uh, Marshall says, uh, the guys love it. First time I fired up their jaws hit the floor. I'm sure they really, uh, they're really, ha- uh, sure they really happen. I'm not bitching about bad time anymore. I got it for an absolute steal too. Uh, let me see here. Mystic Star says, music is excitement, is excitement to listen to and play and it, create, uh, and it creates excitement. I agree on that 100%. Um, Insomniac says, I use Planet Waze instrument cable with the right angle. I hear they have a lifetime warranty. I believe they do. Very, very nice. It's good to know that your cable is going to be uh, um, with you and working for, for life or else I'll replace it. Uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, Loris, uh, I can't see if I can pronounce that. I see in. I say in. I'm sorry. I apologize if I'm saying that wrong, which I'm more than likely am. I'll say Loris. Well, I caught you live. What's up from Los Angeles? Thank you for the show. Took me out of a lot of bad times. I appreciate that. That that means a lot to me. Um, and it is good. It's kind of a, I think the show is a, is a therapy session for all of us, including myself. Um, it's nice. You know, just forget about what the day, what, uh, what transpired during the day. Just talk about gear. And I think even more, more, way more importantly, that whatever comes out of my mouth is what happens in the chat. It's great because people say they just get to, hey, show up and, and talk and, and with their friends. And I love that. I just provide a little engine over to the side or a little meeting place, a common common area, I guess we'll call it, in the chat. People just sit there and talk with one another, and, and I love that. It's great. And, uh, you know, I could just come on here really and just hit live and then just go cut the grass outside or something and just leave the chat open. You guys could probably have just as much fun. Maybe I'll do that one night to see how the views and reactions are any different. Maybe that's what I'll have to start doing. Uh, but I appreciate it. It's all good. I'm just joking there as well, too. I, I do like to talk a little bit here and there sometimes too much. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Tactical is saying, uh, I found my George L's cable starting to pull loose, like you mentioned, Eric. Yeah. You know, for someone like myself here who, know, who is no longer touring anymore, used to tour a lot, um, play a lot. I could see them being a problem on the road, but here in the studio, um, you wouldn't think so so much. But they did loosen up, and now I've gone, I've gone from using the George L's. I love them. They're they're a great cable, but just for reliability, because they're on a solderless cable, I'm using um, the Planet Waves. Now that being said, I do have some. I do have both versions of Planet Waves. I do have some solderless, and I have the soldered ones. Um, I'm I have more soldered than solderless and i'm probably going to replace all the solderless ones eventually um but the i find the connection on the planet wave solderless a little bit more robust so the the chances of uh getting loose and having some you know weak connections are slimmer so cool um and uh there the tone can be a little bit brighter i found yeah there's uh, certain frequencies that are opened up a little bit that you might not have seen uh or heard in other cables and he's tactical says, I don't gig either. Yeah, you know what? It doesn't matter if you're gigging or not. Tone is tone. And whether you're gigging or you're at home, tone has to be good or else, you know, it's not inspiring. Once you, you, you this will, this is a, a common proof of this right now. If something's bothering you that day and you play, your tone really hasn't changed, but you're in a different, a foul mood for some reason. Um, 
and you start playing your guitar and you think your tone isn't there, it's just because you're not inspired. So you put the guitar down as miserable. Next day you pick it up and you've got good tone. You play, the inspiration hits you a lot faster. Um, and uh, getting a word right now too, we have a few new people in the chat. So that's really nice. I appreciate that. It's uh, maybe some new faces. And, you know, I'm just going to credit, I'm just going to say credit, um, maybe some people are from the Robert Bakers of the world and people like that are sending some people over here. I appreciate that. I know Craig Rundle's another good friend, has posted um, uh, some videos, some previous episodes. Uh, Craig has a lot of friends. And, you know, every, every time you guys, here's, here's a little thought too, and it's kind of where I'm getting at with Craig. Craig Rundle's monster guitar player, he was sharing some things. And whenever you guys share some of my content, that does bring in a few new people. And trust me, I won't forget it. I definitely won't forget it when you guys do this and you share some of the videos even tonight if you want if you think you've got two or three guitar player friends on the other side of the world that maybe don't watch this and you know you want to um, you know be cool to your buddy share some of my content I'll get a couple new people coming on here and then that's more friends for us to all you know say hi to in the chat and stuff like that too so that's where a lot of these new faces are coming from and I love seeing new faces uh, every episode it might be one might be three um, doesn't matter just n more friends to uh, to call out by name which I love it's great uh, almost down to the very bottom. I can't believe it. Uh, there we go. Uh, let me see here. Uh, so we're talking about the gigging and not gigging. Uh, and Tactical says, yeah, uh, he's psyched for Mark Day. That's coming up June 2nd. Um, you had mentioned that in your uh, entry video. And uh, it's it's very, very cool. If you're on the channel here, when we're done the show tonight, um, have a look. I have a playlist for the EVH Gear Wolfgang uh, giveaway. And I've got everyone's, uh, almost everyone's, I think, as far as I know, I've got everyone's video submissions in that playlist. So you can watch all the entries. And Tacticals, one who sent one through, it's pretty cool. I really, I really like it. I think he says something something along the lines, I'm not going to quote him because I'm probably going to be wrong, but he's like, he comes for the content and stays for the mustache or something like that. So I, I like that. And I respect that because he's got a mustache too. Uh, this is nice. See here again, little moments. I just take pride in little things. Um, you know, I take pride when I, if someone says something about the channel, he says, uh, Jeff Hogan says, great channel, bought my first EVH standard after watching your vids, <clears throat> excuse me, and just ordered a special. Very, very nice. I cannot thank you enough for that. Very, uh, very humbling. Poison Ivy saying, welcome to Loris. Uh, let me see here. Anyone have, this is from Marshall says, anyone have experience with 5150 100 watt TC major to ground control and voodoo lab switcher any issues i think i've had a few people come and go through the chat here and i've heard the the talk of both um all this in in the mix together and i haven't heard any good or bad but i have heard the talk of it so we'll have to wait for someone to um uh to to discuss that i don't i haven't heard of anything myself uh, JJ Collins saying hello everyone. Mystic Star Inspiration. Uh, tactical six string. I did jump to too fast again. I hate it when it does that. If I don't scroll fast enough and then about six or eight more comments come in as soon as I scroll to poof. Let me see here. Um, let me see. Uh, I, I want to do a big block but as comfortable as I am with messing with my guitars I'm nervous about the intonation set up afterwards. Probably nothing right. Here's a little tip. Even the pros will do it too. Take a picture with your phone. Get right in there close and after a while after you do three four Floyds you can almost do it by guessing, and you're only going to be able to very small nuances. Take a picture with your phone very, very close to where every saddle is. Take a look where each where your saddle mount screws are. There's three positions on a typical Floyd, uh, just so you can go forward, a middle, or back, and there's a quite a bit of range of sliding of the saddle of either one of those positions. By taking that picture, it will get you back in the in the very, very, very close ballpark. Do it, man. The worst case scenario that you can happen to your guitar is you your intonation may be a tiny, tiny bit out. You probably won't notice it anyways. And if you do have it out, you could always take it to your local repair shop and just say, "Could you intonate it for me?" I know Floyd's are a bit of a pain. You know, the, uh, you know they might be a little bit pricey, but that's the worst that can happen. You can't break anything. Adam Reaver has some phenomenal videos. He's just not actually upgraded some of his older videos and done new ones on how to do it. And I'd be more than glad to give you some pointers as well too. So I really do encourage you to do it. It took me when I did the stripe series 15 minutes and that's probably being that's probably over 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 quoting it's probably about 12 minutes to, from start to finish um and it was done working perfect and let me see here uh um and tactical says 40 years playing and never mess with intonation it's not for everybody it, i know i was scared of it at, at first as well too you do need a good tuner get something that has very very good uh, digital like accurate range you don't want to just do it with one of the headstock tuners you want something with like a strobe tuner or something of that nature even the boss um the tu tu tuners work really really well i've got an old korg as well too i just found it again it's in my prs case a very old korg very is like an analog tuner analog slash digital whatever and it has a big range on it that'd be a good tuner as well for a uh, uh for an intonation job 
Billy Shelton says, "Hey, Eric, I was just talking to Billy early on, on uh, earlier on Facebook as well." Um, let me see here. Let's scroll down to the bottom. I'm gonna get you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just see if there's anything else I've missed. That's let me see here. Talking about uh, uh, Daddario strings. Uh, Cringe Channel says hello. Says hi. And another new uh, so that's a new viewer. Island wind Islander Winder. Hello for hi from Newfoundland, Canada. This is awesome. This is great. Hello, hello Newfoundland. So you are two to three hours later than me. I think you should be. Uh, it's nine four. You'd be like what? Twelve. You're all in the in the wee hours of the morning right now. I think you're three hours ahead on the Eastern time. Uh, let me see here. Um, Cringe Channel say, yeah, boy. Access Mario. Hey, nice to see you. I haven't talked to you in a little bit. Uh, I, Mario and I have some phone calls every once in a while. It's always fun to to uh, see you on the show. Um, this is very nice. Mystic Sarah says, I know this show literally saved my life, and my life would be meaningless without EVH Gear TV and the EVH family. Well, I'm sure we, I'm sure we all uh, feel very uh, lucky to have you as part of the uh, the show here as too as well. It's very, very nice. Um, that's cool. Peter Schaefer says, "Cheers to that Mystic Star." Very, very cool. I appreciate that. That's that's. Uh, I have to really uh, up my game now to provide good content. You know what? No, I don't because you guys in the <laughs> in the chat. You, you, this is what it's all about. So I'll just I'll just coast on cruise control. You guys, you guys run the show. You're doing a good job. I love it. Thank you. And Poison, I, I agree with what Poison says. Uh, very happy that you're with us. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to highlight right where Darren's point is. He's saying, I'm um, talking about intonation. I'm going to try to, to, to highlight that. Um, and I'm going to just keep it right there. And that way I can come back to it if I can. And uh, let's have a look. We're going to jump over to the guitar. So we have the, the Wolfgang standard guitar. That's going to be giving away uh, June 2nd. The contest ends at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on June 2nd. So what you have to do to win that guitar is, and there's some good submissions so far, um, you have to go to evhgeardiscussion.com forward slash win. So evhgeardiscussion.com forward slash win. Uh, you have to be a subscriber to the channel. You shoot a quick video with your phone, your GoPro, your camera, camcorder, whatever you got. It doesn't have to be professional. You'll see some people have done, they've used all different kinds of equipment. Some people have done them serious. Some people have done them really fun and, and, and humorous. I, I suggest do them fun and humorous. Um, and there's no, there's, I'm not picking what the message says. I'm not picking the quality. Um, you know, there's, you know, if I was picking what the message says, it'd be very hard to choose because they're very, very powerful statements. What people are saying, tell me why you like EVH gear TV and why you'd like to win the guitar. A couple examples, um, why you'd like to win the guitar, you know, maybe, maybe you're, uh, uh, less fortunate in finances and you'd like to have the guitar. You can't afford it. Maybe you're a youngster and you've, you've just got a, a kind of a crappy guitar. Now I'd like to move up a little bit. Maybe you're a parent uh or maybe you've got a, 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 a something you like to get one of your kids and whatever i, I don't know what I, I really don't care what it is it doesn't matter to me that way i just want you to say why you'd like it and uh it just it shares the story and shares the bond with all the other people that are entering as well and all the fans here in the chat as well too um so do that and then the uh um the decision will be made randomly at that friday evening friday june 7th so you got about to about to close to two weeks and i'll announce it on one of the upcoming shows after that will be picked randomly it's a beautiful uh wolfgang standard in uh, mystic blue metallic a beautiful guitar and trust me i'd love to keep this one because it's one of the nicest standards i've ever played but it's in the box it's going to stay there i'm going to give it one last look over before it goes just to make sure everything is in the box my whammy bar all that kind of stuff and i'll throw in some extra goodies as well for that as well too some stickers and a bunch of good stuff like that too um so that's the wolfgang contest something else um as far as giveaways no this is a used product but it's still something i want it's it's not being used here i don't want to sell it i could go take it to the local music store and sell it for a few bucks um you guys saw me talk about my bbe sonic stomp pedal a lot i did lots of reviews on this thing it's a great pedal it's marked up it's got scuffs it's a used pedal it was with me on the road for a long time but overall still good I'm going to give this away with a little kind of a little uh, kind of a little fun pack I put together, a bunch of stickers. So I'm going to give away the BBE Sonic Stomp and a collection of stickers. These ones got some kind of curls to them because they've been sitting in a box. I'll get you some fresh ones, but some cool stickers, various um, you know sizes and things like that. And we talked about guitar picks earlier, a couple custom guitar picks. Um, uh, the people that know me know that my band was, uh, and I'm still with um, Dunlop, an endorsed artist with Dunlop. So I have Dunlop's Band of the Week guitar picks. So Band of the Week on one side, Finding Core on the other. That was really cool. Dunlop sent me a massive box of stuff. They sent a couple pedals from me, a couple pedals for the bass player, 
um, like I think it was like 12 Dunlop t-shirts, all the custom care stuff like the, the polish, which I still love. I love that Dunlop 65 polish. Um, so much stuff. It was unreal. But uh, as well, they sent us a couple hundred each of the um, the bass player and guitar players in the band. I think it was like 500 pictures, something like that. And I'm down to a, a few of these. So these are uh, these. There's a limited edition because the band is no longer. And uh, so I'll put a couple of these in there as well too. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I'll just I'll make it fun. Just a random draw, probably a comment on a video or something like that. But I'm going to give away the BBE Sonic Stomp and a little sticker and pick collection. Uh, another contest. I just have to figure out how to do it. Probably just going to be a like a share and tag somebody on Facebook. As you can see, there's road equipment all over the place. Road has been very, very good to me on the channel here and is making the show sound a lot better than it ever has. Uh, love this stuff. Uh, to me, the, my audio gear by road is as important to me as guitar equipment. So I've got a really, really nice road. Uh, they call it a letter or like a varsity jacket. Actually, yeah, varsity jacket, and it's in size large. So if you if you need like an extra large, a double extra large, or a small, uh, this is not the jacket for you. I only have this one. Um, and I have one as well too, and I normally take large. The large runs a tiny, tiny bit small on me. Um, so just keep that in mind. If it doesn't fit you, give it to a friend. It's a very, very nice jacket um, from Rode, Australia. Um, like I say, it's a varsity jacket. When I first opened the unboxing, I thought it was uh, shirts. Obviously, I've got a, a T-shirt on right now as well too. It's a nice varsity jacket. So I'm going to probably do a uh, uh, share and tag someone, whatever that. So I'm going to do one of those. And then the last thing I want to talk about, I'm going to jump back over to merch or to uh, to the chat in a moment. I got some new merch. This is really really cool. Um, so obviously it's a bunch of stickers and stuff like that. I have those in the store as well too. You can buy the stickers in various formats. But I've been wanting to get this stuff up on the on the e store. You guys see me every week drinking out of the coffee mug, um, and it says EVH Gear Discussion. And I still have that big old banner back there saying EVH Gear Discussion, rebranding uh, for many reasons. And um, I want it, I'm going to be getting rid of that as well too. So I'm trying to change everything that says EVH Gear Discussion. So another reason with those stickers, those are kind of rare too. Once those are gone, they're gone. So I got rid of the coffee mug. Now we've got new coffee mugs featuring the EVH Gear TV, the weekly EVH talk show, and my name on the bottom, and then got my ugly mug on the mug. Um, so I got, I, I've had a bunch of them selling them here locally, and I haven't had a chance to get them onto the store. So they're in the store now, and I only have four left, so they're going to go fast. Um, they're sealed in the box, very, very nice. Got a bunch of them here, well, four of them. So get, get those as soon as you can. Uh, the link is in the description below this video. It's just evhgeardiscussion.com slash shop. They're 20 bucks. Now, unfortunately, don't let the shipping scare you. It is Shipping can be a little high. I'm not one of those guys like you see on eBay that profits off of shipping. Uh, there are people out there that do that. Believe it, even to mail a sticker. Like I was, I would, before I was giving stickers away and I was, uh, you know, the shipping was two bucks. It actually cost me three or four bucks just for shipping out of Canada. So it totally, totally sucks. So if I'm not profiting a huge amount off of this stuff, it just offsets my cost. I might make two to three to maybe at very best in Canada, I might make five bucks on one of these mugs, uh, in the States. I might make two dollars. I may I may just break even. Overseas, it's going to cost me to ship these things, but that's fine. You pay you pay what you pay, and uh, if I profit, I do a couple bucks. If I don't, I don't. But uh, ten uh, twenty bucks, and I think Canada shipping is ten bucks. USA is twelve bucks, and overseas is eighteen bucks. And I guarantee you, um, I won't be profiting off the shipping. That's that's for sure. But they're very very cool. They look nice. And I think I have four of them in the e-store right now. So once those four are gone, I'll be getting another uh, probably a couple dozen soon as well. But they're, they're kind of cool. Nice white, solid. It's a nice cup of coffee or whatever it is you want. Um, so let's jump back over to the chat. That's all I really wanted to tell you about. Got the guitar contest ending soon. New merch. The giveaway with the BBE Sonic Stomp. Just watch the Facebook page, facebook.com slash TV. The name has changed there as well, too. It's EVH Gear TV everywhere now. Instagram, Twitter, the whole works. And that's really nice. I had all these different names. EVH Discussion over here. EVH Gear Discussion over here. Um, it's, I try to have a, a unity amongst the brand. And that's how I'm totally trying to take this as, is as a brand and uh, really enjoying the support I'm getting with people uh, with the switch over to EVH Gear TV. I like it a lot more because the discussion is a huge part. That's a huge nucleus and that's never going to go away. But there's going to be more things with product demos and jams and things like that that fall more into the TV-esque uh, genre, if you want to call it that. All right. So let's jump back and, and see what I might have missed here. I know there's a lot. Uh, let me see here. All right, so Darren was saying, intonation is not very hard after two to three times. I'm very inexperienced with guitar building, and I guess, uh, but I guess intonation on a 5150 build, he guessed it, and he got it right. I've been very, very close on mine as well, too, just by taking snapshots. 
uh, and tactical sand. That's what he thought about the intonation. My, all my Floyds look like they're in somewhat same position. Yeah, basically a staggered staircase, you know, uh, diagonal from, from to low to high on each. So E, A, and D string from lowest to high would be on a, a, a diagonal, uh, E string being all the way furthest back. Then you're repeating again on your G through your B on a, on a staggered staircase. That'll get you in the in the rough ballpark. Uh, generally, you'll find if you're if any of your saddles are w- protruding forward off of the Floyd, um, chances are you're way out of whack. Unless, of course, it was a home built guitar, and you know you just kind of guessed where you put your Floyd. You may have to go that route, but you know you're way out of whack if you're doing that. Uh, let me see here. Uh, and Adam Powers, I always like to call him Austin Powers. I hope that doesn't offend you. I just see that I see A A Powers, and I think of Austin Powers. Uh, he uh, he did the full tone big block upgrade to his stripe series went well. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Trip Machine says there's a little metal plate uh, goes between the big block and the other uh, metal for tuning the Floyd. Careful with that. Yeah, that's the fine tension the fine tuner tension plate. You can take that. You can leave that off. A lot of people are scared uh, to do that, and some people will argue that it it does get in the way of the tone. There's there's so many arguments that way um, on a lot of Eddie's older guitars, like the classic ones that we see. They didn't even have those. Um, and what that does is it just keep, uh, keeps even tension against the fine tuner. Once you have your guitar tuned up, the string will actually keep the tension under. You don't need that. And you'll notice just just for just for uh, argument's sake, look at some of your Wolfgangs, and you're going to notice on some on the low. E string, uh, that fine tension um, tuner plate, the finger, you will we'll call it, um, has been clipped off. They do that on some of them um, for the D tuner. You'll notice that some of them have them, some of them don't. Now, I'm not sure uh, which models and do that anymore, but I have some that do, some that don't. But what he's referring to there, what Gustavo's referring to, is that fine tension tuner plate. So you're going to have your your Floyd. You're going to have the fine tension tuner plate, and then there's also a brass. Uh, uh, I guess in most cases it's brass, a brass shim, and then there's the the block. Now what you can do when you're putting on your futon big block, you can deal away with that shim if you want, uh, and especially if you're going to be using that. Sometimes helps it set set flush on the body of the guitar. And it gives um, an extra little kind of uh, solid conduit between the two. You can also put a trem stopper in there as well too, which I do actually recommend. And they're about 25 bucks. Uh, so look at that at uh, fu-tone.com as well. Uh, let me see here. What am I missing here as well? So we're talking about the, uh, that was from Trip Machine from Gustavo. And uh, Tactical says, I had, a bi- I had a big block on a Jackson Randy Rhodes uh, years ago, and it was sweet. Regret having to sell that guitar. Yeah, we, we all have guitars that um, we really regret letting go. And uh, I know one I really regret letting go of was, was my Steve Vai Gem 7.7, uh, the flower pattern deal. Original, like when it was brand new. And I know when it's going to really hit me is when I have uh, Thomas McRocklin, Thomas McLaughlin, uh, or McRocklin, uh, coming on the show very, very soon. And uh, he's got so many gems, and some of them made for him, some given to him by Steve. I know I'm going to be crying, and you know when I when I see these guitars of his, and he knows that we've had this discussion. So that's one that I've got rid of that I greatly regret. <clears throat> However, I've said it on the show many times too. I bought it from a dealer who um, didn't con- didn't climate control their their store in Canada. That's a bad thing because we go from extremes in the winter, from you know extreme brutal cold at night. To, uh, well, I guess it doesn't go warm the next day, but the, what the store would do is he wouldn't keep the heat on at night, just enough to keep his pipes from freezing, and then the next day he's got it up to 80 some odd degrees, and you know that guitar is climatizing from you know below zero to to this, and what happened was the fingerboard was separating from the fret from the neck, and uh, it, was, it was so bad you could almost put a very very thin guitar pick in there, so getting rid of it was probably the best thing that ever ever happened to me with that guitar. In hindsight, I probably could have found a really good luthier repairman that could have uh, repaired that. So it is what it is. We all we all go through it, uh, and sometimes we trade things, right? Sometimes we don't sell them, we trade them, and we regret those trades. Uh, what did I miss here as well? So uh, Brian Watson, anyone order the new EVH Stripe Series fifty one fifty? If I could get a new one, that would be it. Yeah, I know a lot of a lot of people have that in order. That one is going to be on my list for the year as well. Uh, that's going to be the next one that I I want to have here in the studio and doing demos on. Uh, let me see here. Um, JJ says the best tip for the intonation before you take apart the bridge, measure each saddle from the saddle to the front of the Floyd, then replace them in the same measurement. Very, very good idea. That's probably even better than taking a photograph because you know if you uh, you take the photograph from an angle, 
you still there's some guesswork involved. So if you're measuring, that's great. I think where my problem would be there, JJ, and I think it's a great great suggestion for someone like me who has horrible vision. Like I can't even read ingredients on a package for uh, directions on a, how to cook something. Uh, and that goes to show you I cook most things out of a package, which also explains how good of a cook I'm not. Um, but I, you know, I can't see the photos very, very well, and I, I won't even be able to see the measurements on a tape. So I can measure inches and feet, but if you get down to those, you know, a sixteenth of an inch and things like that, not going to happen. But that, if you can see good, knock yourself out. That's a great suggestion. Uh, this is cool. Eddie Rocks, 5150. Hello from Southern California. Love for all things EVH. Cheers, Eric. Love all you do. I appreciate that. You rock, man. Thank you. And uh, let me see here. Uh, Darren Moore is talking to um, to Poison. They're just ma- monitoring the chat, which I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for all the help, uh, Darren and Poison. Appreciate that very much. Uh, let me see here. This is great. Adam says uh, the tactical. He's talking to tactical. Adam Reaver has great how-to vids. I've never done the intonation on a Floyd before, but it was relatively easy and learned a lot from it. Adam obviously is the man when it comes to that. Probably about the only thing I talk about more on this channel than Eddie Van Halen himself is Futone and Adam. And uh, you know, I've mentioned a couple names now. I've mentioned Adam. I mentioned Thomas McLaughlin, McLaughlin, and uh, I mentioned uh, Robert Baker here. All those names. Plus a couple other people, I'm not going to say, we're all working on something very, very special, and it's going to be a video, um, and I, so that's very, very nice, sitting on something really, really nice right now. It's going to be hopefully out next week, and uh, very, very heavy Eddie Van Halen um, related. I mean, it doesn't get any more focused on Eddie Van Halen than this, and there's going to be some great contributions from friends of mine around the world, so I can't wait. I can't, that's all I can say about it for now, but just because I'm saying these names now, I thought the Adams, the Thomases, the Roberts, and people like that, it's going to be a really good, cool project. I've put more into this video than I think I've done since I've had the channel, and uh, it's nothing about me. It's something about my, it's an opinion I have, um, but that's all I'm going to say, so it's more about spreading some love of something else, and I really think you guys and girls are going to like this video. Um, uh, some people have seen some prototypes of it already, some rough mixes, and I th- they're really enjoying it. And I think you're going to love what they have to say. And I probably said way too much. Um, <laughs> Boys and Ivy says we got trolls. We love the trolls. We eat trolls for breakfast here. And you know what? It was really cool. I don't even have to worry about eating trolls for breakfast because all my friends here in the chat, friends and family here in the chat, they, um, you're, you're my front line that the trolls don't even get to me. So anyone that wants to try to be a troll and think they're going to bring me down off, off of my little, my little soapbox, you've got a whole bunch of people to get through to, before you get to me. So awesome guys. I <laughs> love it. Love it. Uh, so thanks for taking care of the, the trash there. Appreciate that. Uh, let me see here. So Timothy Pierce, my Charvel, DeMarzo, uh, had a food tone, big block and noises, spring upgrades. I love the noise of springs. Now I've got, um, you know what, actually I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this up for someone out there too. I'm going to give away a few. Let me see what, when I say a few, do I even have them handy? I don't, let me see. I might have them. I got a bunch of the red springs. Let me see where, if I can find them. They're not in this bag. I got so many bags of parts. Here's some more Floyd's with some parts. Um, I know there's a bag of a bunch of red springs here somewhere and I can't find them. I know I got a bunch. So whatever I have in the red springs, I'll do a I'll do a quick comment you know below on something and the first person to uh, um, to comment on it whatever or something like that I'll give away some of the red springs the red springs are a little too tight for me if you like heavier tension or if you maybe only want to have two springs in there and you still like a lot of tension the red ones are for you I like the black ones so I don't want to see them go to waste they should not just be sitting here in my drawer so I'm gonna give those away too I'll just find a way to do a quick comment and random comment wins it so watch for that as well too I know it's just springs but hey someone might as well have them. And they're, they're not doing me any justice right now. So you'll love them. I just more, I like the real slinky uh, two fingers on the whammy bar to do a, like a bit of a dive. Uh, and Darren says, uh, they got nothing better to do. I agree. It, it's okay. Uh, let me see here. Um, Mystic Star says, I just wore my heart on my sleeve. Um, and Bruce says he was nervous making my video. Yes, yeah, so Bruce put in a really nice video as well too. And that's the thing. If I can, if I can just try to take the pressure off of you, uh, don't be, don't be nervous have fun laugh belch on the camera if it makes you feel better i don't care what you do just shoot a video tell us why you like the show why you like to win the guitar it does not have to be serious if you want to have some fun like there's some humor you're going to see some real humor in these and they're they're oh, and laughing when i say i laugh at them i'm not laughing at them because they're cheesy i'm laughing at them because there's some good humor in them and everyone likes to laugh right so i think a lot of people will will love these videos and i tell you if i was picking based on merit of the content oh my god would this be a hard contest i think it's 
I think it's going to be nice. It's going to be random because it's not going to be, there's no horror stories or happy stories or anything in between. It doesn't matter what the story is. But the cool thing is you get to people, get to watch these videos and get to know more about our fellow friends, uh, f- f- fans and friends, friends, fans and friends. Is that a word? Friends? Okay. Um, get to see what they're like and get a little, kind of a little bit more personal story about them. And it's very, very cool. I think that's one of the cool parts of the, uh, the way the contest is going too. And the reason why I'm doing that in case anyone wonders, um, the last, the last contest I did the real big one, um, I have all these mixed emotions about doing contests different ways. And, you know, I could be, I could be gaining a ton more likes on Facebook and, you know, other social media platforms by using one of these plugins that, you know, like and cheer and all this other kind of stuff for the guitar contest. And I really don't want that. I, as much as, people might look at me and say, what, you don't want more people liking you on Facebook and things like that? Sure, I'd love that, but that's not my goal. I'd rather, when you do it that way with these plugins, just sharing it with the world, you get a lot of the sweepstake players who have every right to win, but probably 60% of the people that would participate in those contests don't even know what a guitar is, let alone how to play one. I want someone who is either a guitar player that wants this guitar, and you'll see everyone that's entered so far really wants this guitar and will be playing it the moment they get it from the UPS guy or whoever I'm shipping it with. That's what I want. Or I want it to be a parent that wins it to give to their kid. So that's what I want. So by going this way, I'm going to get a lot less entries. And you know what? That doesn't bother me. It's not about the number of entries. It's the the quality of the entries. And that means people who will use the prize. And I'm going to probably do that a lot of contests. I'm going to do a lot of contests that way. Now, if it's the jacket like I'm giving away, I might do like a like and tag someone, you know, or tag someone, whatever, and share kind of something like that. I might do a case like that. Because anyone can wear a jacket. You don't even have to be a fan of music to have a nice Letterman jacket or varsity jacket. Uh, If you are a musician, it looks good because you've got road on there and people will spot you right away. Oh, it's a microphone. Cool. You know, that kind of thing. So that's that's my concept on the contest. I hope you guys like that and I hope you appreciate that. I'm trying to be sincere by saying that, that I want someone who's a musician that's going to win it and not take it down to the local pawn shop or Craigslist, whatever, and sell it for a quick buck. You know what I mean? I don't care if you sell it. Go ahead. But I really would prefer you to take the guitar and rock out and show some videos and tag me in some of your videos with your kid playing the guitar or you playing the guitar. I'd love that. Nothing would make me uh, uh, happier. Fred 101 says, I'm camera shy. You know what? If the, it, maybe uh, just do it with audio on the camera. Maybe just show your face once so I know you're a real person. Um, and I, I'm camera shy as well, too. You'd be surprised when I first started this show. You go back and look at it. Um, there's some real cringeworthy uh, videos. Um, <laughs> I still get nervous when that light goes on. It, uh, you get a little nervous. It gets a little bit more comfortable as every video goes on. But I'm, I'm nervous too. Um, trust me. Just, you know what, you're with friends and it's going to be shared with friends and family here on EVH Gear TV. So there's nothing to, to feel nervous about. Just shoot that video and do a couple. And, uh, you know, the first one, first couple, you're going to probably feel a little stiff, whatever. Just uh, you'll, you'll get a little bit more relaxed and comfortable as you try another one. Uh, let me see. What else have I missed here? I, I'm probably missing a few here. So we got the good videos from Adam. Uh, let me see here. Bruce was saying he was nervous. Don't be nervous. And uh, Insomniac Max says he's making one uh, video. He's making a video for the contest sometime this week. Great. I look forward to it. Um, and Gary Davlin says, make sure you hold the guitar upright while setting intonation too, since that's how you'll be holding it when playing. If you set it while the guitar is flat on its back, it would be slightly off. That's something I did not know. You know that? I did not know that. And it makes sense. I did not know that, and I'm just, I never profess to be an expert when it comes to intonation. I'm a, I'm a real rookie. I just get in the ballpark. I feel I, I don't want to be the guy hitting the home run at the plate. I just want to get in the ballpark. I'm happy to sit in the bleachers as long as I'm in the ballpark. Uh, Mystic Star says that's very cool of you, or very kind of you, Eric. No problem. Um, and let me see here. My guitar picks with a soldering wood burning gives you that zero. F- so Tactical says he stipples his guitar picks with a soldering iron uh, or so- yeah, uh, wood burning tool. Gives that zero slip. That's cool. That's neat. I never tried that. Um, yeah, and there you go. Poison Ivy says you don't have to show your face if you're not comfortable with that. Yeah, just a voice will be fine. That That's fine. And put like a, you know, your hand in front of the camera. Just, you know, use, use the back camera of your phone, whatever, and just shoot the wall or something. Maybe show your guitar collection. That's cool. I, I don't I don't blame you for being uh, shy. We, we all are to a certain varying degree. I think you'll ask any YouTuber on, on the, the out there that they're still shy to a certain extent. And I think that's also by like being a, a musician in general too, when you say you don't get nervous a little bit doing a gig, 
I think they're the people that don't get nervous at, at all that say they're not nervous, not even a tiny little bit. I think that's when you get into the, the cocky area a little bit where, you know, I think you should still be grounded, should still be nervous when you do a gig. I know whenever I used to do a gig, did it for my entire life, 30 some odd years of playing, I would always have that butterfly in my stomach for the first two or three songs. Third song in, I'm set to go. And you're king of the world for that 35 minutes, 45 minutes, two hours or whatever it is you're doing. And um, you know, if you're an opening band or you're the, the headline act, whatever, then you're in your zone. First little bit, it's you're, war- you're learning the crowd. How's this crowd reacting to you? And then you're rolling. Sometimes you right out of the gate, you're good. Other times, maybe not so much. But uh, sh- shyness applies to all of us. And uh, I think I'm 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 less shy. <laughs> I'm more shy when this camera goes off. Believe it or not, poison ivy will tell you that. You know, I, I, a lot of times in, in life, I'm just just kind of you know, too quiet doing my thing. Get on the talk show, and it's like rolling and doing this and doing that, and it's a lot more fun. You know what I mean? Uh, let me see here. Uh, oh yeah, Thomas says, did you get a chance to try out any SRV tones on the EVH Lunchbox Two amp yet? You know, I haven't. We were talking about this on one of the comments on one of the videos. Just for just for a challenge, I'm going to bring out my PRS um, this week. I'm going to do that on the clean channel of the Lunchbox 2. And the PRS, the reason why I say PRS, um, I, I've, I can get closer to Steve Ray Vaughn-esque tones from that guitar. And I might possibly, I'll say this too, I might borrow the boys, uh, which used to be mine, my um, Yamaha Pacifica 921. It's got a um, uh, humbucker single humbucker with a five-way position, and I get some real strat tones out of that thing. And I know that for a fact because I used to do some Steve Ray Vaughan on that guitar. So I'm going to try a combination between the PRS and the Yamaha Pacifica through the um, uh, through the Lunchbox 2, and I'll, maybe I'll record that, and I'll, I'll do maybe some jam uh, backing tracks, and I'll do a video on that, and you guys can tell me what you think. And it'll be a real challenge for me too, number one, because I haven't played any blue stuff in quite a few years. I love Steve Ray Vaughan, and it'll be a good workout for me as well too. I'll try that, and we'll see uh, what the verdict is on that one. I'm going to let everybody go real soon. It's 10.06. Uh, I don't want to keep anybody um, uh, too, too long, but especially I don't have anything else to really talk about, and I don't want to just talk for the sake of talking. There's other bandwidth out there on YouTube that needs to be used. I'm sure someone wants to do something on YouTube, and if I'm going to, uh, if I go off, that shares a little bit more bandwidth with everybody else in the world for sure. Not that the show is consuming a lot, but you know what I'm saying. If I don't have anything to say, why say it, right? I will still recognize everyone in the chat, which I do appreciate. Uh, let me see here. Um, uh, let me see here. I guess I missed a lot of trolls. I'm glad the front lines got them. Thanks, thanks, folks. Uh, will I be doing string giveaways? Yes, I'm gonna do some string giveaways. I'm gonna probably do a, a bunch of those coming up. It's one thing I promised to be doing this year is a lot of giveaways all year long. Um, I'm in love right now with the, the Dario uh, NYXLs. Um, I'll probably do some of those, uh, uh, and I'll try to do a little bit of a combination because not everyone in the free world plays nine to forty-two. So I'll try to get a range nine to forty-two, nine to forty-six, ten to whatever, fifty-two or whatever. Um, I'll try to do a little bit of a range so people can have a choice. But um, it, I'll do some accessories. There's going to be more gear throughout the year as well too. Poison Ivy and I are already thinking something big for fifty-one fifty subscribers. That's obviously down the road. But fifty-one fifty is going to be a magical number for the channel and for every Van Halen fan out there. So you can expect good things. I haven't even given this thing away yet. I'm already planning the next one. So I like I like you guys to all expect that. Um, it's a reward for people coming back every week and spending half an hour, forty-five minutes, ninety minutes, two hours uh, with all of us here. And I appreciate that. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, Card says, we'll have to try the Noises Springs first, so no more paper towel next to the springs like my old PV Wolfgang. I'll have to show you. Go back and look on... Well, actually, I'll just show you another show and save, instead, instead of uh, having you dig through older videos, although you're more than welcome to go back and watch the older videos. On the Yamaha Pacifica, to this day, I still have a piece of foam uh, that you would have underneath a pickup. That's actually what it came from, uh, from like a DiMarzio pickup or a Duncan pickup when you buy them in the boxes. You have that piece of foam, like a photography foam. I put that underneath the springs. Um, and uh, so that's very, very cool. That's, uh, so I, I don't, I don't uh, uh, knock you for using paper towel. Very, very cool. Uh, let me see here. Thomas Doyle says, thanks, Eric. No problem. Uh, let me see here. What else have I missed? I know, I know I'm scrolling a little bit too fast. Um, let me see here. Quentin James, I'm off, boys and girls. Uh, good, to, good to see you, Quentin. And thank you again for the pick. Quentin James, guitar pick. Love it. Uh, let me see here. Craig, wannabe, guitar wannabes jumping in uh, last minute, unfortunately. Um, 
I appreciate you joining in, Craig. Uh, Craig is a monster, monster player. I'm going to be wrapping up here in just about five minutes. I just want to say uh, at least recognize everyone and uh, go back and see if you want to rewind the video. Lots of contests, lots of stuff I'm giving away. The Wolfgang guitar uh, giving away. It is a used pedal, but like I said earlier, BBE Sonic Stomp with a little care package that I'm going to give away just because I'm not using it, and I'd rather give it away to someone who will appreciate it as opposed to making 40 bucks to take it to the local music store and selling it or 30 bucks or whatever. New merchandise in. EVH Gear Mugs, EVH Gear TV. There you go, EVH Gear TV. Got only four of them left. I didn't get a chance to get them to the e-store. They are in the store. Once those are gone, it'll probably be a couple weeks before the next shipment comes in. Um, so they're on, on the website, evhgeardiscussion.com. And that's it. All right, guys, so I'm going to wrap up. I uh, want to wish everyone a great evening. I'm going to turn over to the little man here in just a moment. He's going to tell us what he's playing, what his name is. And everyone, I will look forward to seeing you uh, Friday night. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, one hour earlier, as I have Jim Clark from Pro Rock Guitar from England coming on. We're going to have some giveaways there as well, too, that night. That night's going to be some really, really cool stuff. Giveaways. We'll see you very, very soon. Have a great night, and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Cheers. My name is Eric, and I'm playing Smoking Guitar. Video production services provided by Design 39 Media. Visit design39media.com for all your website, photography, and video production needs.